a fucking monster from this one. What up, Wrecking Crew? It's your boy, Wreck Gaming. And if you knew, you know what to do, man. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Listen, bro. I'm back. I've been sick for the past three days, four days, man. I've been fucking hacking up fucking blood and mucus and shit. Couldn't go to the gym. I'm pissed off. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling a little better, so I'll go ahead and drop this new tutorial. I ain't gonna get back in the gym until maybe tomorrow, but I'm back on my YouTube grind. Let's get it, man. Tutorial how to fucking beat snipers. Let's do this shit. I got a unique technique for y'all that's been around since GTA 4, but most of y'all probably ain't heard of it because it originated in free aim. Now, y'all know the drill. Before I show, before I show y'all the technique, I gotta I gotta show y'all, you know what I'm saying, the basic background information. It's some things y'all gotta know first. So, first things first. Number one, to kill with the heavy sniper, it takes two bullets, sometimes one. But most of the time, you get hit with one bullet by the heavy sniper, and you're at red bar. You get hit again, and you're done. With the marksman, it takes four shots to get a kill. Four shots. Remember that. Now, the second thing you got to know, when going up against snipers, stay away from the beach and stay away from large areas like this that I'm showing right now in the video. I could have picked a better example than this. Yeah, it's a lot of distance between me and the sniper, but there's also a lot of a lot of cover that I can use to my advantage. But this is actually a pretty decent uh, example because certain good ass snipers has gotten me like in situations like this. But yeah, stay away from the beach. That is a strong ass area, and stay away from big ass open fucking streets like this. Don't get too cocky with the technique that I'm gonna teach you. Make sure your personal vehicle is always at least in running distance so you can maneuver and move as needed. The last thing you need to know is beware of the weapon switch. When you do the technique successfully that I'm going to teach you, the first thing that snipers usually do is switch to the minigun, a rocket launcher, or maybe some kind of automatic weapon. But mostly they're going to pull out a minigun or a rocket. So you have to be prepared for anything when you're doing this technique. You got to always be ready for that switch. Now here's what the technique looks like and it's called G moving. G moving. You want to run in a zigzag pattern. Your movements want to be long and wide. And as soon as you feel like you're close enough, you want to bot and claw. Bot and claw. Now, if you don't know what botting and clawing is, you need to watch my shooting tutorial. A link will be in the description. All right, so I'm out here with my boy The Explicit. He's down the street. When I say go, he's going to try to snipe me. He's a pretty good sniper. He loves the heavy sniper whenever we're in free modes. He kills people before I even have a chance to pull my damn gun out sometime. So, yeah, I'm gonna de I'm gonna demonstrate the power of the G move as I run out. Now you see, as you look closely, you'll see sniper bullets whizzing past me as he misses those shots. Now, you always want to make sure that you have full health and full armor, just in case you do get shot. You don't want to die. Now, you want to roll occasionally, like when you fucked up your camera camera angle or something, or as you can see right there, I stopped running on accident because my controller kind of fucked up. You want to roll occasionally just to get yourself back on balance, but do not roll too much because that'll make it easier for the sniper to get you. The, the trick here is staying mobile. The more mobile you are, the harder it is for them to hit you. No matter how good the sniper it is, it's going to be incredibly hard. Now, I'm running back because we're going to do another take of this. All right, so take two, I come out. You can see... Sniper bullets are whizzing by me. He's missing. I'm G moving. I'm rolling occasionally. Uh, beware of cars now. Anything that you see, like you see those dumpsters right there, I'm going to use those to my advantage. Anything you see, dumpster walls, cars, anything. Run. Use anything you can to block bullets temporarily as you run past them. Now, I was going to run up and aim in his direction just to show you the bot and uh, fucking claw but i got mutilated by this goddamn bus this motherfucker just fucking sacked my stupid ass like what the fuck is going on and then he's just going to sit on top of me like like really like okay we're on to take three different scenario different situation i'm moving i'm dodging bullets now look at this alleyway i see it i'm going to use it to my advantage i'm going to run into it as i'm running by it just just a temporary black bullets from it. Now I'm gonna come out and do the exact same thing, but this time I'm gonna follow it up with a kill. Now the reason why this works is because 
you're avoiding sniper range until you get into auto aim range a sniper cannot use auto aim you can so once you get into the range you have a huge advantage and they die automatically and believe it or not most people just sit there like an idiot and continue to try to snipe you and you just kill them well not most but a lot and even if they weapon switch you're ready for it so you're probably still gonna get the kill anyway but you gotta practice this shit man you're not gonna be automatically good at this this takes a lot of practice especially if you don't have a free aim background